This episode of Photonics Hot List is brought to you by Aerotech. Precision motion control and automation. Take control. Speed. Precision. Performance. Hello, I'm Justine Murphy with Laser Focus World. Let's take a look at some of the amazing things happening in photonics. Smartwatches and other wearable devices have transformed how we monitor our fitness, keeping track of exercise routines and the body's reactions to them. Unfortunately, some of the data obtained is often inaccurate. But now, a simple addition to existing technologies could significantly improve that accuracy. A team of researchers from Carnegie Mellon University and the Indian Institute of Technology Gandhinagar has found that incorporating a thermal camera into a wearable health monitoring device can acquire more precise estimations of calories burned during a workout. They've developed a smartphone thermal camera-based system, Eye, that can estimate calorie burn with high accuracy by monitoring a person's respiration rate and body temperature in addition to their heart rate. Initial testing, which involved participants either running or cycling at high intensity, found the device could estimate burned calories with an error rate of just 5.8%. Conventional systems, like a calorimeter or existing smartwatch-based approaches, have a nearly 38% error rate. The researchers say the Joule system could also be used in sports training or monitoring chronic diseases. Dispersive Raman spectroscopy has long been the standard for a number of applications, from biomedical research to environmental monitoring. Such systems often have limitations, however, thanks to cumbersome setups and a narrow range of uses. But an international team of scientists says they found a way to overcome the constraints. Researchers from the Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology have developed a compact and portable swept source Raman spectroscopy system that can identify a wide gamut of biological and chemical materials. Using a swept source laser, the new setup emits light over a continuous range of wavelengths. A short pass filter eliminates background noise, while a scattered light is filtered by a narrow bandwidth bandpass filter. This isolates the desired Raman shifted wavelength range. A highly sensitive point photoreceiver then acquires the Raman spectra. The researchers say their system can identify a variety of different chemicals, such as glucose and acetaminophen, as well as various components in biological samples, just as accurately as conventional spectroscopy setups, but is much more versatile. The team is now working to improve the system's sample acquisition time and ultimately expand its application range. Quantum dots, nanometer scale semiconductor crystals that emit light, have truly amazing qualities that can enhance things like solar cells and electronics displays. However, they're synthetic and toxic. But a team in India is now working on an eco-friendly alternative that could someday facilitate safer and more sustainable technologies. Researchers at Aligarh Muslim University are developing non-metallic quantum dots, or QDs, that are synthesized from carbon and sulfur-based nanomaterials. Using these natural earth-abundant materials makes the new QDs biocompatible and much more environmentally friendly than the fluorescent toxic nanomaterials used to create heavy metal-derived QDs. The team's work involves two techniques to systematically fabricate carbon and sulfur dots. They use solvable thermal synthesis, which is conducted under elevated temperature and pressure to control the nucleation and growth of the non-metallic QDs. Microwave-assisted synthesis then accelerates the reaction kinetics to rapidly form the QDs with enhanced reproducibility. The researchers say the non-metallic QDs could be ideal for real-world environmental sustainability efforts, such as water purification, as well as medical diagnostics. And that's your Photonics Hot List. Don't forget to like and share, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and visit laserfocusworld.com for the latest and coolest news and information. And don't miss the next episode of our Following the Photons podcast next week, featuring Thomas Obler, an international sales director specializing in CVD diamond products at Element 6. Until next time. <laughs>